the Prime Minister hasn't even started building around Lac Mégantique. It's been eight years. Eight, for eight years, there have been announcements and announcements and announcements. Money is spent, but with no results. The same is true with regards to affordability. He spent uh, $97 million, a billion dollars for housing affordability, but what it did was double the cost of housing. According to the Bank of Canada, the cost of housing is worse today than over the past 41 years. Will the Prime Minister finally inverse his inflationist policies that have doubled the cost of housing for Canadians? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, whilst the Conservative uh, Party was partying last week, Canadians were served cold chicken McNuggets. Two million dollars? That was the cost of showing the true face of uh, the Conservative Party of Canada. When it comes to supporting our veterans, how did the how do they vote against? When it comes to supporting farmers, how do they vote against? When it comes to helping First Nations, how do they vote? Against. Mr. Speaker, we see who they truly are. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. For eight years, this Prime Minister and NDP Liberal government are not worth the cost. He said that he was taking on all this debt so that Canadians wouldn't have to. Well, now we learn that Canadians are spending more on household debt interest than at any time in Canadian history, more than the American families were during the 2008 financial crisis that almost brought down the global economy. Will the Prime Minister reverse the inflationary high-tax policies that have indebted Canadians and driven up their interest rates? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. The audacity of this Conservative leader knows no bounds. Right. Just last week, he voted against a national school food program, and now he rises to talk about affordability. Right. Let's be clear. This Conservative leader has no long-term vision for this country with or without glasses. It <laughs> takes more than a couple of bags of McDonald's to feed Canadians. That's why we're going to continue to step up and be there with investments for Canadians while he talks about cuts and austerity and then goes and votes for cuts and austerity. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, Canadians can't even afford to feed themselves a couple of bags of McDonald's after eight years of this Prime Minister taxing their food. Speaking of food, you know the only problem with his school food framework? It doesn't fund any food. Right. It funds politicians to talk with bureaucrats who talk with lobbyists about establishing a conversation towards consulting. <laughs> it funds bureaucracy and not families. So speaking of one way he can make food more affordable for everyone, including our kids, will he pass Bill C-234, the common sense conservative bill, to take the tax off?